Welcome, dear viewers, to this new video, where we will learn step by step how to build a self driving robot car that can be controlled via Bluetooth and a smartphone app. We will start by understanding the project, then design and build the robot, then connect its components electrically, and after that, we will program the Arduino microcontroller. Then we will develop an app using the MIT App Inventor to control the robot remotely. Don't forget to like, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel. This project is an extension of the previous project on building a robot using Arduino and the HC05 and HC06 Bluetooth modules. You can visit it through the link that will appear above. The idea of the project is as follows. I have the robot that is equipped with ultrasonic sensors on all four sides, and I have a smartphone with the app installed. By changing the mode, you can change the robot's movement, whether it's in autonomous driving or manual driving mode. If autonomous driving is not activated, pressing forward will send the letter F, which will be read by the Arduino and translated into movement, making all motors move forward, and the robot moves forward while pressing backward will send the letter B, making all motors move backward, and the robot moves backward. Then, if you press to steer left, it will send the letter L, the right motors move forward, and the left motors move backward, resulting in the robot turning left. While pressing to turn right, it sends the letter R to the Arduino, which translates it into making the right motors move backward, and the left motors move forward, resulting in the robot turning right. In the case of changing the mode to autonomous driving, the letter A is sent to the Arduino, and all sensors are activated to read the values being sensed. In this case, for example, the sensor on the left reads a value less than 20 centimeters, and the front sensor also reads a value less than 20 centimeters, so the robot must change its direction to avoid colliding with these obstacles. The robot constantly senses its environment and adjusts its path according to the surroundings. After explaining the project idea, I designed the robot using Autodesk Inventor, where I designed the robot and created this frame or chassis, and these plexiglass boards on which the motors will be mounted, then placed this frame, and placed another plexiglass board on top. Then I have this mount or holder for the Arduino board, on which I will install the Arduino, and these mounts will be used to fix the DC motors. I printed these parts with a 3D printer, while the plexiglass boards were purchased and cut according to the required measurements. After designing the mounts and the frame, I printed them using a 3D printer. Then I added these inserts inside the parts, where they are heated and pushed inside the part. These inserts help with the assembly process, so no additional nuts are needed. As you can see, they were added to all the parts. After that, I attached these mounts to the plexiglass board on which I had previously drilled holes. These mounts are fixed with screws and nuts. It is necessary to tighten the screws firmly. Then I installed the DC motors, which in turn are fixed with the appropriate screws and tightened securely. Next, I mounted this holder for the Arduino so that the Arduino board can be fixed on it. Then I installed the control board, which is identical to the Arduino Mega. I added the Adafruit motor shield, which will help me control the DC motors. 
Then I connected the motors as you can see in the diagram. Then I fixed the battery with this double-sided tape. Then I connected the battery to the Adafruit motor shield for motor control. To learn more about this controller, the Adafruit motor shield, you can visit the video I made about it. Now I will add this frame, but before adding it, I will install the ultrasonic sensors on it on all sides, front, left, right and back. Then I added the frame to the robot and fixed the appropriate screws and tightened them securely. Then I passed the wires and soldered this switch, the power switch. Then in this step, I added the HC05 Bluetooth module. Then I started connecting the sensors, as you can see, Based on this electrical diagram, I connected all the sensors to the control board matching the Arduino Mega. Then in this step, I installed the top part, thereby closing the robot. Then I added the wheels. Thus, I finished assembling the robot completely. After finishing the mechanical assembly of the robot and connecting its components electrically, I will now program the Arduino board, and the code is as follows. This code controls the robot with four DC motors using serial communication via Bluetooth. The Arduino receives commands from the smartphone and executes the corresponding movements. At the beginning, I initialize the motors where the motors are configured using the Adafruit Motor Shield Library, with connectors M1 to M4. Then I define the pins connected to the sensors. Then the command variable, and the autonomous mode enabled variable. Then I define the functions that I will use in the program. In the setup function, I define the baud rate for the information coming through the serial communication. Then I define the pins that will be used as inputs, and the pins that will be used as outputs for the ultrasonic sensors. In the loop function, I first tested the information flow. If there is incoming information, it is stored in the command variable, then the handle command function is called, and then the autonomous mode enabled is checked to see if the autonomous mode is active. 
The autonomous mode function is then called if it is active. If the autonomous mode is not activated, the commands are executed, and the appropriate function is called to control the motors based on the received command. F for forward, B for backward, L for left, R for right, S for stop, and A for autonomous mode. Here I defined the functions. In the forward function, all motors move at speed forward. In the backward function, all motors move backward. In the turn left function, the motors on the right move forward, and the motors on the left move backward. In the turn right function, the motors on the left move forward, and the motors on the right move backward. In the stop function, all motors are stopped. In the autonomous mode function, the distances measured by all the sensors are read, the front sensor, then the left sensor, then the right sensor, and the rear sensor. If the distance measured by the front sensor is less than 20 centimeters, the robot is stopped for a moment, then the distance on the right is checked and the distance on the left. If one of these distances is greater than 20 centimeters, the robot is turned towards the longer distance. If the distance measured by the front sensor is greater than 20 centimeters, meaning there is no obstacle, the adjust direction function is called. In this function, the values of the right and left sensors are read. If the value of one of them is less than 20 centimeters, the robot is turned in the opposite direction to avoid collision with the obstacle. The get distance function provides the sensor values by sending a pulse and receiving it back. By measuring the time, the distance is calculated. This concludes the explanation of this code. I will now upload it to the Arduino board. After finishing writing and uploading the Arduino program, I developed an Android app for Bluetooth control. I used MIT App Inventor to create this app. The app sends commands to the robot via Bluetooth. To understand the basics of programming or developing an app with MIT App Inventor, you can refer to the previous two videos where I explained in detail how to build a similar app. First, I registered and then created a new project, then I designed the user interface. I started by dividing the screen into sections using arrangement, which you will find in the layout window. After that, I added the elements. I added a list picker element, which allows the selection of a Bluetooth device. Then I made some changes like the name, select device, and I added this Bluetooth label, which gives me feedback that the Bluetooth connection has been established or failed. Then I added this switch, through which I will change the mode, meaning autonomous driving or manual driving. If activated, it means autonomous. Then this image is just to give a better appearance to this design. After that, I added the control buttons. I added four buttons and added images to these buttons to give a better representation of the direction. After finishing the design, I added the Bluetooth client component for Bluetooth connection. It is non-visible. After finishing, I programmed these blocks through the blocks interface. Then I started programming the part for selecting the smart device to connect to, and then the part that tests the connection. If the connection is established, a e connected a message is sent, and the label is colored green, referring to this label that I added. Here, if the connection fails, and not connected a e is displayed and colored red, meaning the background is colored red. Then on this side, I have the mode switch, which I added to change the mode. If the switch is on, the autonomous mode is activated, and an A is sent to the Arduino. If the switch is not activated, an M is sent to the Arduino. Then I programmed the buttons. For the forward button, if pressed, an F is sent. If it is released, an S for stop is sent. The same applies to the other buttons. For backward, a B is sent, for left, an L, and for right, an R. I will leave a link in the description box through which you can download this app and install it on your device. After developing the app, I downloaded it and installed it on the smartphone, then connected via Bluetooth and performed a test as you can see.
And so we come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it beneficial. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay in constant touch with all new content. Until next time, stay creative and explorative.